Hey guys, today is the move-in day for our new location of my treasure house. We're moving two doors down into a bigger location. And today my mom and I have to set up our brand new booth in this new store. So before I head up there, I thought I would show you all the smalls kind of closer up that I'm gonna put in today. And then I will show you kind of the bigger pieces as I'm putting them all together in the booth. My mom and dad are already up there putting in their big pieces to start off because they have the bigger pieces of furniture compared to what I'm bringing. I'm only bringing a piece of furniture, all those large windows that I showed you recently in a DIY video, and then all of the smalls that I'm gonna show you here. So let me show you what I'm bringing up first. First up is this large amber bottle for $18 for this large pumpkin pie sign that I'm asking $14 for. And then these two silver trays, they're not actually real, um, but they are like heavy duty, um, just for $8 each. I found these down in the basement. I They're probably from Hobby Lobby. Uh, but I thought they would be nice to kind of do some fill in around the booth if I needed a little bit more fall floral. So I'm asking 18 each for these. Then a vintage bread box for 32. This print that I thrifted probably a year ago now that I'm going to ask 18 for. And that's tub number one. And then tub number two. I have this pillow that I thrifted for $8. This is a new set of napkins for $15. This gold frame for $8. This oversized spoon wall decor for $6. This little spoon holder that I added some greenery to. This is antique, it's $8. This is just an old box and I just used an IOD stamp inside and it has a little hanger here. So it could just hang on the wall like this. And I'm asking $8 for that. A little vintage apron for This orange metal truck, I added just a pumpkin and some greenery for 18. This thrifted book for $8. It's really big and the inside's gold. If you didn't see me thrift this a couple weeks ago. The inside's gold, pretty cool. And then last is just a little white pitcher of florals. Actually, it should go this way. I'm asking 18 for that. I need to fluff up all my florals again once I get back up to the booth. Uh, but as you can see, I tried to stay with a very um, autumn color scheme here. And even with the other box, I mean, everything's very much a lot of oranges and dark greens and off whites. Um, so I think everything looks really nice together. My mom sent me a picture of all of her smalls and everything looks really great. Um, I think it's going to be a really awesome booth by the end of the day, but it's definitely going to be a lot of work. It'll probably take us a few hours. Um, and I don't know. I'm just excited to see how everything turns out. So I'm going to repack this back up, load up my car, and then head up to the shop. So here's how the store is looking about four days before we actually open. My booth is back here on the left corner of this white slat wall and it's an L-shaped configuration which is a little different than what we're used to so we're really spending this time today just trying to figure out what it feels like to fill up a booth that has this kind of L-shaped corner. So this is everything my parents had already brought in before I arrived and we put this really big beautiful drawer piece on the back wall here because in that spot you can see it straight from the front door of the store so as soon as you enter you can look back and see this wall and so that piece was what we wanted to be 
our big like anchor statement piece for our opening day. It is so beautiful. Um, and it was kind of nice to have that space taken care of so we knew exactly where that biggest piece was going to go because that kind of helps us configure the rest of the booth. So for a while now we kind of shift around our smaller pieces of furniture, um, especially this green secretary desk. It took us quite a while to figure out where exactly we wanted to put that one. Um, but once we had that in place, we put the little black piece that I brought in in the corner and that just kind of gave the booth some good balance and some more like walking around space. Um, we don't love to just put our furniture flat against the wall because that can just get pretty boring looking pretty quickly. So I like that we put the black piece at an angle. It's also a really deep corner right there. So we're kind of having a hard time figuring out how to best fill that so that people can actually still get back there and shop and that it can still look nice from far away. Um, but having this piece at an angle really solved that for opening day. Right now we're just trying to rearrange some of our wall pieces and figure out what looks best there. And we ended up with the, the big window piece that I had just done last week um, there in the corner. I think that really turned out nice there all together. And honestly, I had done these mirrors and windows on such a whim a couple weeks ago. Um, and like I said, you can watch me doing those in a recent DIY video. Um, but I'm so glad I did because they look so nice in the booth. Um, I just love the mixture of the wood we have going on right now, the dark greens, and then all of the wreaths. And as we bring in the smalls, you'll see just kind of those repeated colors for fall. Um, and everything just comes together so nicely for us. We don't even really have much of a plan, to be honest. We just kind of tend to shop around for things that we like. And for whatever reason, it ends up being pretty cohesive in the end. Um, but especially today, everything just ended up looking so nice together. But I was really glad to have all of those big windows and mirrors done um, for this opening day because there was quite a bit of wall space to fill. And those just did a really good job of filling up that space, but also continuing that color story just throughout the whole booth. So once we have our big stuff in place, we're able to just kind of go in with all of our smalls. Um, part of the task of the day was to not only move into this booth space, but to also clear out our old booth space, which was just two doors down. Um, so definitely one of the easiest moves we've ever done because we could just walk next door and uh, pick out what we wanted to bring to our new space. Some of the other stuff from our old booth we just packed away to bring out at a later season. Um, and some of it we just packed away to be donated, honestly, because we've had it for so long. Mostly not, though. Most of it was packed away in storage or even moved to our other booth location in Greenville at Third Street Market um, because those are just a whole other different uh, group of shoppers that we get over there. So some of the things that we had in our booth here for a long time will be brand new to them. Um, and this is how it's looking towards the end, nice and full. And this was about three hours of work in just under four minutes. I will say it's super fun to start a booth from scratch so to come in here with a clean slate was just uh, really fun for me um, and another huge thanks also to my niece Lilia who you saw in the video with us she really did a lot of work just running back and forth between our stores and getting other things from our booth and so it was a huge help to have her there um, any pair of extra hands is so helpful on a move like this because it can get uh, pretty exhausting but overall we went really quickly. This is such a quick move for us. I think it's just because we've been doing this for a really long time at this point. This is like I think I calculated our fifth or sixth move into a new booth space. And so, you know, it's not our first rodeo. We've done this a few times and um, it just helps to have a little bit of experience in trying to understand like how to display everything together. It also just really helped that our items 
uh, just went really well together for fall. And as soon as I say that though, we're gonna be turning around and decorating for Christmas, maybe within the next week or two actually, which I'm not super ready for. And I want some of these fall pieces to sell before I even think about that. Um, as far as how the booth's going so far though, it's only been open for three days. Um, my mom's really large drawer piece that was our feature piece for the booth sold on day one for just under $800. And I think we were saying today that that's probably our highest price thing we've ever sold. So that was really encouraging for the start of our new booth. Please let me know down in the comments what you think of everything and what's your favorite piece that we brought in. If you're interested in prices, let me know and I can try to fill you in if I see your comment. And I hope that you subscribe so you can continue to see my antique booth journey. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.